Hey, hey, happy Monday. How's it going? Hope that your Monday is off to a great start. I'm really excited to pop in and share with you today. Um, some of you are watching in the Purpose Partners community, some on my regular profile. Um, this message today is specifically for the Purpose Partners community, but also for those of you who um, may be newer to my profile, you're kind of, maybe you're watching me, um, maybe you've seen a few of my videos and you're just kind of interested in the things that I've been sharing. So I just want to, first of all, thank you for watching um, and just say welcome. If this happens to be your first time um, hearing me speak, my name is Chrissy, um, and I am just really, really passionate about growing into a deeper, more intimate relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and helping others do the same. And I've been on a journey over the past three years with the Lord. And today I want to share that journey um, with those of you who are watching, specifically those of you in the Purpose Partners community, um, you know, who I have known for quite a while. And some of you may not be in the Purpose Partners community. You watch me on my profile and I may have known you for a while too, but we have a community of um, Christian women in business in the Purpose Partners community. And so that's, um, that is the primary message of this, um, this, this video today. However, um, I guess I'm just like, I'm a little bit at a loss for words right here because I'm still praying through what the Lord would have me do um, as far as my interactions on Facebook. So I'm kind of working through some things with the Lord, um, but I do want to specifically address the Purpose Partners community. So that's where I'm going to start. Um, like I said, today, I want to share some of my journey over the last three years. Um, and I want to just encourage you to keep pressing into God because he is faithful. Um, so if you're just hopping on, say hello, let me know in the comments if you're watching. I will not, um, you know, respond to any comments or anything until the end. I'll come back through um, after the video streams and respond to the comments below. So I would love for you to interact. I would love for you to leave a comment. Let me know. Um, you know, if there's anything that resonates with you, because I feel like I've shared bits and pieces of my journey. Um, but I've never really just kind of spilled the beans, if you will. <laughs> so I want to kind of just share where I am in my life right now um, and where the God, where God is leading me. I'm sorry, I'm getting twisted on my words. Um, but anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in. And I would love to know um, if you're watching live or on the replay. And if you have any comments or anything you would like to say as I'm chatting, talking with you, speaking, um, that you would just drop those down in the comments below. So for as long as I can remember, I have believed in God. All right. Even as a little girl, I remember believing in God. Um, and as with most people, my life has ebbed and it's flowed. Sometimes um, I may have appeared to reflect his image. Other times, not so much. Right. We're all human. None of us are perfect. But I think about, you know, my life from childhood and life is a journey. Um but I have come to recognize that when you truly partner with God, when you do it with the Lord, it gets sweeter and sweeter as time goes by, even through the trials, even through the sufferings, all the things that happen in our lives. When we press into God and we really trust him and we, we do this life in partnership with him, it truly gets sweeter and sweeter. Right. He is true to his word. He's true to his nature. God is love. He is provider. He is sustainer and so much more. And there's so much as I was just preparing this because I really had to write out my thoughts because um, quite honestly, I can start talking all over the place and I want to stay on track, but also like the Lord just brought me to tears um, multiple times as I was preparing this. And so maybe since I've already cried with him, I can make it through without crying with you. But my journey with the Lord really, really started, right? from before the foundation of the world, <laughs> um, from, you know, birth, from childhood, like my journey with the Lord really started way before I realized it. Um, I really didn't know what he was leading me toward, but for the sake of this group, I am going for the, for the, pur the purpose partners community for the sake of that particular group. Cause like I said, I am streaming, um, in a few different places, but for the, for the, for the sake of this group, the purpose partners community, um, I will start, um, at the end of August 2019. So that is what I'm talking about as my journey with the Lord over the past three years. So August will be three years. Um, that's when I made the decision to go into social media marketing, right? Network marketing, Facebook, you know, a little bit of Instagram, learning all the things. And my goal was to build a network marketing business, um, as most of you in the Purpose Partner community are probably doing. Um, I was always hesitant 
to build like a traditional multi-level marketing business. Now I've been in multi-level marketing since I was in college. I dabbled and did all the things and I had a little bit of success with a couple different businesses. Um, but I wanted to take it to social media and like really do the thing, right? Like blow up like everybody's doing, really build a business. Um, but I was really uncomfortable with the way that multi-level marketing was presented on social media. I disliked the way it came across. I disliked the way people approached me about it. So I set out to find a better way. And I'm sure for those of you who are in the Purpose Partner community, part of the reason you're there is number one, you want to grow in your faith, but you also want to grow in your network marketing business to where you can reach people, right? Without looking like the typical multi-level marketing spammer, right? Like that is what connected so many of us together. So enter in attraction marketing. And I was like, bingo, this is it. Um, you know, I'm going to build a brand. I'm going to build a business. And as a stay at home homeschooling mom, I wanted to do my part to contribute to the household income. So this is where like this morning, I felt like the Lord just brought me to tears. And so I'm going to pause for just a minute here. Um, because I'm feeling led to, whether you're watching in the Purpose Partners community or you're watching live on my profile or, you know, um, on YouTube or where you might be watching this video, is I want you to know that sometimes we do things, quite often actually, we do things based on a lie that we believed. All right. And the fact that I wanted to do my part to contribute to the household income was directly tied to a lie that I believed. I believed that I wasn't doing enough. So I began to place obligations on myself. All right. I believe that I had to be the provider. Um, I believed that, you know, my husband needed me to do this. This was never anything that he like encouraged me to do. Right. This was something that like I was putting these obligations on myself. And what the Lord showed me is that the truth of the matter is he is the provider, right? And he has always provided for us and he always will provide for us. So if you are one of those women and you are building a business out of a place of obligation that you have placed on yourself, I want you to stop and I want you to take it to the Lord. And I want you to make sure that you are proceeding in faith and not in fear. Okay. Um, because God is the ultimate provider, right? He's the ultimate provider. He may choose to provide through you and through your business. And that is wonderful if, if that is what he chooses for you. So he may, in fact, provide for you through your network marketing business, your coaching business, your multi-level marketing business, whatever it is. He may also, if you're married, choose to provide through you, provide for you through your husband, right? He may choose to provide for you through friends, family, neighbors, or complete strangers, all right. But one thing is for sure. He, God, will provide. Right. He is provider. He is provider. Matthew 6, 33. If you've watched me for any length of time, you know that I absolutely love this scripture. Seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added for you. Such a beautiful passage. Matthew 6, um, verses 24 through 34, where he just really talks about how much he cares for his children and how much he's going to provide for you. All right. So back to my story. That was where I just really had to break down. I actually wrote some notes over here because what he was showing me through this is that not only was I believing the lie that I had to be a provider, but I was thinking of provision in terms of income. And so what he showed me as, as I was preparing for this talk is number one, he provides the way for all the needs that we have. And number two, he has made me a provider. He has made me a provider of love and support and discipleship for other people. And that is such a humbling blessing. All right. I don't want to cry. <laughs> so um, back to my story. I want to get back to my story so that I don't, don't lose you here. But um, so I was, you know, in this thing, right? I was learning the traction marketing. I was, you know, investing in myself. I was doing the things. And as many, um, as many of us in this, you know, online business space and network marketing, as many of us do, I quickly realized that I had mindset blocks. 
Let me know in the comments if you feel like you have a mindset blocker. You've heard someone tell you, you know, that you've got to get your mind right. And, you know, and then you're going to start to see results. Right. So I had mindset blocks and I began to explore my options. What did it look like for me to to clear these mindset blocks? You know, if my success was truly on the other side of something that was mentally holding me back, then I wanted to figure that out. So I began to explore my options. And it wasn't long when um you know, I really just knew that the Lord was drawing me closer and I made the decision that I would lean into my faith, right? The self-help gurus and all their tactics just did not sit well with my spirit. I did sit under some teaching and I knew that there was a resistance in my spirit. And so I began to pray and ask God, Lord, I want to do things your way. Please show me, please help me what it is that I need to do. And one of the first things, um, you know, in this process, I did meet Natalie and that was just like the beginning of a beautiful friendship. So thankful for that. And then eventually met Brandy um, and we've been able to collaborate and partner together. And I'm so, so thankful um, for that as well. But <clears throat> excuse me. One of the things, um, you know, that that I learned is that. Like when something doesn't sit well in our spirit, right? There's a reason for that. And so a lot of times we hear people say, you just have to get comfortable being uncomfortable. And I really like, I've come to dislike that um, because really and truly God is calling us to stretch and to grow and it will get uncomfortable. But when we do it with him, we can trust in him, right? So we just want to make sure that we're not getting outside of a comfort zone just for the sake of getting outside of a comfort zone. We want to to move and to stretch outside of our comfort zone with God, right? We want to be in his zone. I saw someone post that the other day. I think it was Jennifer Reyes. Um, but anyway, to, to be in his zone, right? It's not about getting out of your comfort zone so much as it is being in his zone. And I really, really like that. But anyway, so I really began, like I was praying about this. I was still learning about attraction marketing. It was kind of like doing all the things. And I really began to lean into this process of building a brand, right? We've all heard about building a brand. You know, it's talked about here in the Purpose Partners community. You understand what it means is that you are your brand, right? And not necessarily the company that you are working with. And so the only thing that I knew that I could build a brand around was my faith. And so I just began, it started, you know, going Facebook live and just sharing a devotion really and truly. I started with a book, um, you know, reading through the Bible for your kids and in, in a year or something like that. And so I just, I started just getting my feet wet and really like beginning to speak about the Lord, to talk about the Lord, to read devotions. And then I remember coming to a moment where I, I, I put the devotion over and I just began to start sharing. Um, and it was just part of the process that I look back and I see how the Lord was shaping me and molding me. Um, but I was on a journey. One of the first verses, I think that I was thinking this, and I don't know that I said it, but um, Romans, Romans 12, verse two, I believe. It might be 212. I may have it backwards. I'm so sorry. My brain just froze. Um, but do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. And so I knew that if I had any mindset blocks, that God was the answer and renewing my mind with him and in his word was the thing that I needed to do. And so as I set out on this process of mind renewal, I formed a group and I began to talk to other women and sharing what the Lord was teaching me. And so as I was renewing my mind, I was sharing. I felt like the Lord said, just share what I'm teaching you. And so that's what I began to do. And so um, I don't really feel like I ever built a brand, but that the Lord just began um, to unveil what he wanted for me to do, right? Like I was just sort of, you know, just there was some of it, I will say that I was probably forcing and some of it was flow. There was this mixture of me doing what I thought I needed to do and, and, and also doing what I thought God wanted to do. And I've learned a lot over the past three years. But um, I was really just sharing with anyone that would pay attention. And so I was sharing these things of the Lord that he was teaching me. But in the back of my mind, I was always hoping, right, that I was going to begin to make the steady income, that I was going to build my network marketing business. And so basically, it was almost like my faith and what I was sharing was the gateway for me to build a business. And there was always the struggle for me. Something just did not feel right. And so I just for whatever reason, continued to like, you know, I hired a mindset coach. I went through like the things I worked with different people and none of it was really 
giving me breakthrough, even though I was working with Christian women. Right. And I think that great things came from those relationships. So I'm not like definitely hire the coach, do the thing. Um, but know that the Holy Spirit is ultimately your teacher. And when we take a step of obedience, like he's going to begin to show us the next step on our journey. So anyway, <clears throat> excuse me, as I continued on this, where I'm trying to build a business, but also share what the Lord was teaching me. Um, it seemed to me very unfortunate because while I was making some progress in my network marketing business, it, like I said, it still didn't feel right. Um, so anyway, I want to look at my notes right here, make sure, because I, like I told you, I hired the coaches, like did the things. Um, yes. Okay. So I'm going to skip like all the middle part because I would keep you here all day. I was just trying to remember, I'm trying to keep this on a certain track. So after almost exactly two years in multi-level marketing, Actually, a couple months before that, I felt it in my spirit that the Lord was leading me out of multi-level marketing. Um, and there's a whole lot to the backstory. If anybody is ever interested, um, I would be happy to share that with you. There were some very distinct God moments in there. Um, but I, I felt it was probably around like the end of May, June, July-ish that I knew that the Lord was like, it's, it's time for you to move on multi-level marketing. I gave you what you wanted. It's not what you need. This is not the model that I have for you. Like these thoughts kept coming over and over in my mind. And I'm like, okay, God, like I'm going to let it go. And so in August of 2021, I let my multi-level marketing business go. I just said, I'm done. I'm completely done. And I let it go. And I cannot tell you the peace that I experienced in my soul when I finally said no, like I'm done. Um, or when I finally said yes to God, actually, yes to God, no to multi-level marketing. And I, I don't want you to take this as you should do the same. My journey is not your journey. And I know that the Lord has called people into different callings and assignments. And I am not sharing my story to make you um, to make you feel like you should not be in network marketing. OK, today is me sharing a closing of a chapter, right? A closing of a chapter, um, a moving in a new direction with the Lord. And so for me, um, I knew that he called me out of multi-level marketing. And basically he just said, um, this is not the, the model that I have for you. This is not the model that I have for you. And so I began to solely pursue building a business where I could serve women in discipleship, where I could mentor other women to grow into a deeper, more intimate relationship with the Lord. I was partnering with Natalie and Brandy in the Rise to Your Purpose program um, and also in the Purpose Partners community here, really helping with spiritual development, growing in grace and knowledge of the truth and like doing all those things. And what was interesting is that like these women, I would pray and ask the Lord specific, specifically at, at different times before I would either do a live or make a post. There was a specific prayer that I would pray and ask the Lord, if you have anyone for me to serve, would you bring them to me? And he would. He was so faithful to bring women to me and he still does this. But there, there was always a disconnect when it came to like the investment. And I never heard the Lord give me a specific amount that he wanted me to charge. And that was really hard for me because I had gotten to a place where I would ask God a question. He would give me an answer. And I was like, OK, why? Like, I've done all the, the mindset work. Like, why can I not hear you? So I was like, well, maybe he just wants me to set the price. So I set a price. He brought a woman to me. Um. And she was unable to pay what I asked. And I was just like, okay, I'm going to take some time and I'm going to pray about this. And I'm going to ask my husband to pray about this. And so we did. And the next morning I asked my husband, you know, like, what is it that you heard from the Lord? Did you hear anything from the Lord? And he was like, you know, no, not, not really. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, I believe that the Lord said, help this woman. You prayed. I brought her to you. So help her in any way that you can. And it doesn't matter what she can pay you. If she can pay you some, if she can pay you none, like just help her and I will provide. Had that conversation on a Monday morning with that precious lady who I'm still dear friends with, love her so much. And I'm not really sure that I've helped her very much, but I love having conversations with her. Um, but I had that conversation with her. It doesn't matter what you can pay. Like if you want to pay a little bit, thank you for the blessing. If you're not able to, I want to serve you in the best way that I possibly can. We had this conversation. It was just a beautiful time together. And literally three days later, my husband got an unexpected raise. 
I just want to tell you that God keeps reminding me that number one, like he is the provider. And number two, provision doesn't always come in the way that we expect it to come. And so anyway, um, just to kind of keep moving along, um, it was shortly after that experience. And I was like, okay, Lord, I really like, I know that you're calling me into ministry. And so then I began to do this model where anyone can have my Path to Peace course um, completely, like for whatever they wanted to donate, in other words. So you could pay $5 or $25 or $5,000, whatever you want to pay, and the course would be yours, just like a donation, and then you get the course. And then through a series of events, um, one night I was sitting alone. I think my daughter was at home, and the boys were all at baseball. And I was sitting at my computer, and I was praying and sort of searching the internet because I was looking for, like, God, is there a specific model that you want for me? And I thought of this other person, um, and I clicked on their website, and I saw all of these free courses. And I was like, it was like the Holy Spirit just said, this is it. <laughs> and I was like, oh, my goodness, I've had it backwards. And so instead of you have to give a donation in order to receive, right, it's freely receive, freely give. So as the Lord has freely given me the Path to Peace course, it's not mine, it's his. And he allowed me to be a vessel um, of his goodness in creating this course, right? We did it in partnership together, but it's all from him. It's all from him. And so he's like freely receive, freely give. And if someone wants to donate, then welcome their donation, but it's not a requirement. Just give it away. <laughs> And I was just like, okay, God. And so he has just been showing me that like my call is specifically ministry. Now, don't get me wrong. If you're in business, your business is your ministry. And I firmly believe that. But for some of us, we're called directly into ministry. And if he chooses to build a business out of it at some point in the future, that is great and wonderful and fine. But if he doesn't, that is great and wonderful and fine too, because I know now that he has called me to a higher level of trust and that he is proving his trustworthiness and that he is provider, that he is provider. And so one of the things that he has been doing um, a while back, and I don't know the exact date, but I know I've, I've told Natalie this quite a few times, but, and I probably said it, said it on some lives before, but he has um, one day, I specifically asked him, this is when I was still trying to build my network marketing business. And I said, what is it, Lord, that you want me to do for my business today? This was my business meeting with the Lord. And he said, get your house in order. I heard that as clear as day. And I was like, well, OK. So at the moment, I look around and my house is a pretty big mess. Right. And so I'm like, OK, today I need to focus on literally physically getting my house in order. But every single time I say that out loud, it takes on a deeper meaning. I start thinking of my marriage and my family, my relationship to God and all of these things. And so today, what that looks like, I've been thinking over the past literally just one or two days, what that looks like. And for me, it looks like connecting with my callings, plural, not just one calling. You have multiple callings. So connecting with calling and resting in his purpose. And so I just want to share with you five callings that I know that the Lord has placed on my life. Um, and then I'm going to wrap it up. But I've been called into partnership with Jesus. And so have you, right? So have you, if you've accepted Jesus as your Savior, you have been called into fellowship, into partnership by God with his son, Jesus. I've been called to live a life as a true believer. And so are you. If you're a true believer, we are to live our lives, to let our light shine for Jesus, right? And then the calls that I've been called to, like, physically, right? You know, like, like in the, the now, obviously partnership with Jesus and believer, those are definitely high callings. Um, I guess I'm just trying to say those are, I, I think of those, well, they're all spiritual because I'm a spiritual person and I understand um, that, that, that we all have a spiritual aspect, but you see what I'm saying? So there's God and then there's the other callings, right? I've been called as a wife to be a helper for my husband. I've been called as a homeschooling mom to raise my children in the Lord. And I've been called into ministry and discipleship to both be a disciple and to disciple others. And so that is the order in which I have to um, pursue those callings, right? Those, that is the order in which God gave me these callings, right? Into partnership with him as a true believer. Then 
I am a wife. That is my earthly priority is to first be a wife and helper to my husband. My second priority, right, is, is to be a homeschooling mom that raises my children up in the Lord. That is a specific call that the Lord put on my life. Thank God that I have help with homeschooling um, in, in a way that I do. God has given me a beautiful community. He's opened beautiful doors, um, but he has called me to this specifically. And I've been called into ministry. And so what I've found over the years is that quite often I would get those things out of order and I would pursue business or ministry over those other callings. And God keeps just gently telling me, get your house in order, get your house in order. So I am connecting with my callings, but resting in his purpose, right? It's his purpose for me. So I'm looking forward to this next chapter in his story for me. God's story. This is God's story and we just get to be a part of it. Right. And so um, I want to play, pray. I'm sorry. I want to pray blessings over you um, as you continue your journey. So I'm going to pray really quick. And then I have just a quick thing that I would like to offer you before we go. Father God, I just thank you so much that you have allowed me to be um, just friends and sisters with Natalie and Brandy and so many in the Purpose Partner community, Lord. I pray that you would continue to bless each woman, that you would continue to bless the Purpose Partners community, and that your will would be made known and that you would be given the glory for all the things, Lord, because we know apart from you, Jesus, we can do nothing. We thank you for your Holy Spirit and your presence that we get to walk in the awareness of your presence every day, Lord Jesus. Thank you in your name. Amen. All right. So really quick before I go, um, I would love to leave you with my Path to Peace course completely free. Um, Brandy was so kind to set it up in the Victorious Entrepreneurs website. So I'm going to drop that link below. You can click on that. There is a little spot to put in your email. I promise you're not going to get tons of emails from me. I'm not that I'm not that girl. Um, but it will just kind of like keep us connected and you will, um, Brandy has it generated to where you will get like a welcome email so that you'll have the link to go back to so that you can go through the course. Um, I have received some great feedback. There is a healing prayer session in there and I almost took it out. And after talking to um, a, a couple different women who have gone through it, really just felt like um, that the Lord is going to use it to bless you. So um, lesson number three is a healing prayer session. So I hope that that will be a help and an encouragement to you. You can always reach out to me through Messenger. Um, if you would like to stay in touch, Messenger is the best way right now that you can reach me. I'm still praying about whether or not I will continue to have an active role on Facebook at all. Um, I am in another group called Girl Read Your Bible Study Group with my friend Tara Borgona um, and some other women in the Women's Global Support Network. Um, it is a free group where it is just ministry focused. And so that is a group that I am currently doing a Bible study in um, as well. And just some things that the Lord is going to be opening up. I'm taking some, some classes um, in you know, Bible studies and all different things. So there's a, a lot going on as I move forward. So I'm not sure how much I will be on Facebook. Um, I may show up again next Monday and I may not. So it just depends on where I feel like the Lord is leading. Um, but I just want to thank you for being a part of my life. Um, I would love to stay connected with you. Like I said, through Messenger, I do have a YouTube channel as well. Um, and anything, any link that you would need or anything like that, you can just go to um, my profile and click on the link tree in my bio section and it will take you to all the places that you can find me, which I need to update because some of those are going to be changing. Um, but anyway, I just want to thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this community. I love you. And I hope that you have a wonderful day and a wonderful week. And this is me closing the chapter in the Purpose Partners community. I am um, pivoting away from network marketing business and moving straight into ministry. So I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful week and I'll see you later. Bye for now.